this is my homemade rock band drum pedal project. Uh, I was noticing online uh, some people had written tutorials on how to build one out of an, an, uh, an actual bass drum pedal and so I decided to take that concept and push it one step further by instead of using a uh, button like made from Radio Shack components like so, see, you hit this and basically you'd mount this in there and then the pedal would hit that and press that down. I decided to take a cue from the actual rock band pedal and use a reed switch with a magnet. And uh, if you see down here, right here, actually I actually have a modified pedal. My friend cut some steel out and reinforced it. But um, uh, if you look right here, it'll be on everyone's pedal. Uh, there's an earth magnet. It's a rare earth magnet. It's pretty strong. And then there's a box right here. And you can actually remove this, but I won't do it. Um, that actually has some sort of circuitry that completes a circuit and it's plugged into a um, 1 8 mono jack so uh, actually I also discovered that you can use go to Radio Shack and buy a 1 8 inch mono uh, you know two mono uh, females to one mono male and um, you can use that for a double bass drum the only problem with it being is that if you have one pedal down uh, the other one won't do anything so you kind of have to time it better, but you could still use use it for double bass drums. Maybe I'll tackle that problem later. But um, so anyway, what I did is uh, I went to Jamco and purchased a packet of reed switches. These are like 59 cents a piece. And went to Radio Shack, of course, got some wire. And granted, this is just a prototype right now. Uh, I also went on eBay. These fantastic bass drums made of pretty much, uh, I think they're like aluminum and shit or something. Uh, this cost me 15 bucks, so 15 bucks, and then the way I've got it jury rigged right now is just with electrical tape. I haven't soldered anything down, and then of course you've got the 1H connector, which is like three dollars. So I think the total project cost for this is somewhere on I don't know 25 bucks, and then also I don't know if you could see it in there, but I bought Radio Shack sells these tiny, I think they're 1A through. Yeah, one eighth of an inch uh, earth magnets. I got two of them stacked just for this demonstration purpose. But I've got the reed switch, you know, running in to the um, running to the lead, and then I've got another one grounded on the one eighth jack, and it's plugged into my drum set. And all you do is just push down, and uh, you don't really have to make connection. I think I'm going to try it with a bigger magnet, but uh, the magnet gets close enough and it's got to be off center and it'll complete the circuit so if you watch the screen here's me going crazy on my little homemade pedal and this is much more resilient than the rock band pedal because obviously it's made of aluminum or steel versus cheap plastic so uh, I hope that uh, inspires some people to do something uh, new and exciting and inventive and uh, if you want to get in touch with me, visit, uh, email me or drop me a line at destituteagenda.com.